Good afternoon, YouTubers, and welcome to Two for Tuesday. And on Two for Tuesday, because the warning is playing here in Calgary on Friday night, uh, I'm doing the warning for Two for Tuesday. Sadly, I'm not going to be at the concert. Uh, there's a maybe a slight chance I'll, I'll, I might go, but 99.99% chance I'm not going to make it. I just, I just can't make it. Unfortunately, I see them in live in concert two years ago and they were fantastic and they're even more fantastic, fantastic now. Uh, this is the first video we're looking at is Paulina joining up with Dead Poet Society. I don't know much about Dead Poet Society. Actually, I don't know anything about them. Uh, but what I've seen in this video, boy, they are high energy and again so is paulina before we get to this i just want to say i've seen some videos of ali singing on stage while danny has a sore throat and i was gonna do that as a reaction but the sound quality is bad so if you guys know of a better qual sound quality video of ali singing recently please let me know I know she does it in the cave in Mexico at their home, but uh, I want to see something recent. Anyway, there's Paulina on the screen, on the stage there. The reason I chose these two videos, uh, this uh, I'm, also, I'm choosing the sharks as well, but the reason I chose from this, this particular video here is because I want to get the entirety of the... Uh, Warning experience, Dead Poet Society experience. Because most of us, when we go see the warning, will probably be at this point here. It's unlikely that we're going to get that close to the stage like I was two years ago. I got really close. I, I was just six rows back uh, when they opened up for uh, Three Days Grace. But let me tell you, I, I chose this because... You get a great view of Paulina on, well, you get a, a great sense of Paulina's energy, even from this distance. Paulina, fantastic at, at drumming, singing, and playing piano. But you get her out front on the stage, and holy smokes, she is just full of energy. She knows what she's doing. Like her and Danny could easily form separate bands and front them both and they would look natural doing it. Allie I'm not too sure about but maybe Allie has some hidden talents that we don't know about yet or I think Allie is going to surprise us at some point. Maybe maybe the, even the next album. But anyway uh, this is Pauline on the stage with the Dead Poet Society uh, performing a song called Hurt. When I first saw this, I thought this was a cover of the Nine Inch Nails uh, song that was covered by Johnny Cash, but no, it's not. But damn, <laughs> Pauline is just everywhere. She's doing the Paulina strut, uh, which I love. And the band members from from uh, Dead Poets Society, they are just all over the stage. Like this one guy just jumps up on front of the front of, front of the, uh, the drummer. And rips across the stage and just, just, just nails his guitar. Like these guys seem to be very energetic. Uh, if you have any any information about the Dead Poet Society, let me know in the comments because I may do them, react to them in an upcoming uh, video. As for the the sharks video, again, uh, we get we're 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 quite far from the stage, but we also get a view of the, the lights and how the lights are timed into the song, which is always interesting because when you're doing a close-up video, you don't see that as often. And the lights and all the other stuff that goes on. Now, this was a outdoor daytime show. So, so being an indoor show is going to be completely different than being an outdoor show or a show that's at night where more lighting can happen and more ambience can happen. Uh, I don't know if I would be at at the front in a show like this because I'm not. I'm 53 years old. 
I'm not in in the mosh mode. <laughs> I don't want to get hurt. <laughs> I'm an old guy. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Sharks, of course, is simply awesome. They had a big screen of, of Danny there. And then you see Paulina and then Ali, Alejandra. So you, you get to see all three of them. But you also get to stay, see the enormity of the stage. Like, look at this stage. It is huge in this video and in uh, Sharks. Like, wow, what a massive stage. And this is not a permanent structure from what I can tell. This is all put together by the by whoever puts this together, uh, whoever is doing Aftershock. It, it makes me really appreciate when, when bands go on tour they don't just use the facilities that you get in, a, in an arena, but you, they also add their own stuff. I saw that with, with uh, Three Days Grace when they came on. They were adding stuff to the stage. I wasn't sure what was going on. It looked like a torture rack, but actually it was a place that they can put their feet up uh, or stand on. Uh, yeah, so the warning, coming to Calgary uh, Friday night. Tomorrow night, the 16th, oh, they're, they're, tonight they're they're in Vancouver. Tomorrow night, they're in uh, Kelowna. And huh, I wonder if Freeze the Fall will be there, the members of Freeze the Fall. That would be awesome if they were there, able to watch that show. So the two thumbs up for Freeze the Fall being at a, at a warning concert. And it'd be even cooler if the warning already knew about them and met them somehow. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. The Sharks, of course, was was awesome as, as usual because Sharks is such a great song. It took me a while to get there. And here I am, seven minutes, and I've been rambling on. I know a lot of you guys don't like that, so I'm going to get right to the videos. <laughs> 